ChatGPT is literally incredible. And the truth is, it's only going to get better, smarter, faster. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to harness its full power. Yeah. From giving it the right context, creating frameworks for success, to crafting the perfect prompts. And the goal is that by the end of this video, you'll be able to basically do almost any task with chat GPT. So let's go, baby. All right, so maximizing your success with chat GPT really comes down to giving it the right information first. So to achieve your desired outcome, you first have to define what success looks like for the task that you're trying to accomplish. And really that boils down to what I call the frameworks of success. So for example, if you have watched my video on how to create online courses with ChatGPT, then you have seen what what a successful framework for online courses includes. Because when I created that video, I literally started with what elements would make a successful online course. Think about things like an outline, a transformational headline, modules with lessons and checklists and deliverables. So by providing ChatGPT with these guidelines, I was able to have ChatGPT create all the components of a successful online online course. And if you want to watch that video, I'll link it in the description. So this is how you want to think about every single task that you want chat GPT to help you with. You have to start with that framework for success. So for example, if I want to create a successful YouTube channel and create successful videos, I can have chat GPT help me with that. And I will start with a framework for success of being successful on YouTube and creating success YouTube videos. So I will first identify all those things that make a video and a channel successful. Things like coming up with viral video topics, creating clickable thumbnails, writing a title that makes people want to click and watch the video, creating engaging intros that draw people in to watch your videos, coming up with keywords to rank for in your videos, writing descriptions, creating tags, and all all those things that make a successful YouTube video and a YouTube channel. In fact, I can ask ChatGPT, what makes a successful YouTube channel? What are the elements that make a YouTube video successful? And ChatGPT can actually help me create that framework for success. So another example of this, to give you some real life examples, let's say that I want to use ChatGPT to help me write blog content. So I create my framework for success for blog content. Well, what makes blog content successful? Things like an intriguing title, keywords to rank for, the formatting of the blog post, how to optimize the post with headings and tags and formatting a featured image, and even ideas for ways to link out from the blog post to other content. So by giving chat GPT a framework for a top-notch blog post, I can have it help me generate all of those elements and create successful content. So the first step to achieving success with chat GPT is all about that framework for success. So you really dial in and define what success looks like for that task. And you create a framework of elements to guide that process. Now, the next key is to give chat GPT specific instructions on the tone of voice, personality, or energy that you want to be conveyed in your content. For example, in some writing you might be looking for a professional tone. In others, you might want something that is more conversational or you might want something that is humorous. Chat GPT can make your content sound much different based on the tone or writing style you feed it. So if I was writing a report for business, I might ask it to write it in a professional tone. Whereas if I'm writing a blog post, I might ask it to write it in a more
more conversational tone. And maybe if I'm posting something to social media, I might ask it to create it in a humorous tone. And by specifying the tone, you create content that is going to resonate with the audience that you were targeting. And it's gonna help you convey the right message to the right people. Now, in addition to creating your framework for success and writing in the right tone, the next key element is to provide chat GPT with context. And this is a big one. Chat GPT context helps chat GPT understand the purpose and background of the task that you're trying to accomplish. And when you do this, this is going to allow chat GPT to create more accurate and relevant responses. So for example, if you're asking ChatGBT to write a news article, you should provide it with the information like who is involved, a brief summary of what happened, why it's important or relevant, and the target audience of that article. And if you combine that with the last tip, which is the tone or voice that you want it to come from, you're gonna get way better results. So this would allow chat GPT to understand exactly what type of article that you want, who it's for, and how it should be written. That's good. Now, context also plays a major role in determining the level of detail and complexity that you want in its output. So the more complex and more detailed you want the output, the more information you should provide it. By providing Providing chat GPT with all the necessary information, you can help it understand the purpose of your task and in turn, it's going to generate more accurate responses that are exactly what you need. Now, another big hack to getting success with ChatGPT is providing it with examples. So examples really give ChatGPT a reference point, and this allows it to better understand what you want and how you want it. So for example, if you're asking ChatGPT to help you generate headlines, you can actually provide it with a few examples of headlines that you really like, and that will help it understand the style, the tone, and even the structure of the headline that you want. And the same applies to almost anything. If you're asking it to write a product description, you can provide it a couple of examples, and that's gonna help it understand the level of detail that you want those product descriptions, the tone that you want them in, and really help it provide you the language and context that you're looking for. And when you provide chat, GPT examples, it's going to deliver less mistakes and you're going to generate content that meets your needs more times than not. So the more examples that you give chat GPT, the more it's going to improve over time. And as it processes more and more examples, it becomes better at understanding your needs and it starts to generate more accurate and more relevant responses. It's kind of like how as as you're creating chats within chat GPT, it can take the context of everything you've written to that point in its future responses. Now, the next big tip is actually instructing chat GPT how to output the content that you want. So remember, chat GPT is a powerful tool, but it is only as good as the information that you provide it. So that means you want to specify the exact output that you want if you can. So think about the format of the output, the structure of the output, and the style of the output that you want. So for example, if you're asking chat GPT to write a report, it's important to specify the length of the report, the format of the report, how many headings and what headings should there be, and what sections that you want. Another good example is, I know that when I'm writing YouTube headlines for videos, that the best headlines are less than 60 characters. So when I'm coming up with headline ideas, I ask it to provide me examples and I specify 
that I want them to be output at less than 60 characters. Because I know that YouTube only displays up to 60 characters before it cuts your title off. So again, I'm giving it a framework for success. And sometimes I might ask it to output information in bullet point format, or I might even instruct it to output a table. So for example, I was recently doing some research on keywords. So I asked ChatGPT to create a table that in one column it included the keyword and in another column it used that keyword in a sentence that I could put into a script or a blog post to help it rank. So you're probably asking how do I actually use all this stuff? So first you want to start by looking at all the repetitive things that you do day in and day out. So if you find yourself constantly doing repetitive things over and over those are probably good things that you can have chat GPT help you automate. Simply provide it with the information it needs and let it help you handle that task. You know, basically these days, almost anything that is text-based, I'm having chat GPT help me lay the groundwork and then I come back in and polish it and add in my personality. And at some point, it's probably gonna know my personality. It's kind of scary. Now, another major way to use this is by allowing it to help you come up with ideas and insights. So when you're struggling to come up with those new ideas, start in chat GPT to get your brain flowing. And remember to use all the things that you've learned in this video to get a better output. And guys, let me say this. One of the best things about chat GPT is that it is constantly evolving and getting better. At the beginning of this video, I said it's getting better, smarter, faster. And guys, it's going to continue to improve. So you as the end user also need to continue to up your game, get better at the things we talked about in this video, and continue refining your approach and building out those frameworks. So to get better results, work on improving your frameworks, experiment with different prompts and instructions to see what works best, always try to provide more detailed information and examples, and continuously evaluate and adjust the tone and language of the output you're going after. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, I want to highly encourage you to do two different things. Number one is to go watch my video on the chat GPT cheat code, because in that video, I explain 20 of the best prompts that I tested out of 300 different prompts. And it's the perfect companion to this video to get the best results out of chat GPT. Now, the second very important thing is that I've been compiling all of my best prompts and examples and use cases into a special guide that only people that head over to creatorsignals.com forward slash prompts can get access to. Don't worry, it's free. And I will also include a link to that in the description. Peace.